This simulation, usually used to train law enforcement officers, is a tool researchers at Bethune-Cookman University are going to show to community members in Paramore and Washington Shores. The goal is to find out how much people in those areas trust Orlando police during a time of tension when police violence protesters have clashed with officers. That if you wait until a major incident happens and then you try to be reactive, um, it, it's a lot harder to repair the, the harm in those communities. Dr. Kideste Youssef and Dr. Randy Nelson will lead five sessions with Orlando police officers who work in Paramore and Washington Shores, seven meetings with the communities, and two workshops to work on ways to improve. You're talking about police perceptions of the community, like why did the police see you the way that they do? How did the police see you? How do you see the police? And what, you know, what's the origins of that? Bethune Cookman's president hopes the project will not only be a success, but give the university nationwide prestige. We have every hope and intention of scaling up this effort. Uh, it is central to um, uh, the educational identity of the institution. Dr. Youssef and Dr. Nelson say the goal of the program will be for just a few community members to feel like they can call the police for help and a few officers to second guess interactions with these communities. Small steps toward trust. It's not going to be instantaneous. It's not going to be something that we, you know, we have a couple of sessions and then, you know, everyone is um, ready to work together. But I think that we have to take the first steps. The Orlando City Commission approved a $63,000 contract with Bethune-Cookman University for this program. Volusia and Seminole counties are reportedly having similar adaptations. In Orlando, Chris Guardaro, West 2 News. The Bethune-Cookman